Octavia, a powerful Warframe that is boring to play? Well, let's change that. What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with an Octavia build video. Last Octavia video I did was her versus level 9k demolishers before Grendel was reworked. Yeah, that was long ago. But today, let's focus on a simpler yet less complicated build that offers quite a lot and pretty strong for endurance. Octavia is simple. Her abilities revolve around the rhythm and tempo of her music, which is the Mandacord, her passive. And this is my Mandacord song. This is a song that I haven't changed in ages. The main combo of this build is going to be her mallet and amp, the first and fourth ability, which is pretty much the typical Octavia combo, but I will introduce a new element via the helmet system. First, let's understand how the first ability works. The ability scales from the Holy Trinity, strength, range, and duration, but also another factor, enemy level. Octavia throws down a sphere that pulsates to the rhythm of her mandacord, making enemies have hard aggro towards it. The mallet absorbs enemy damage and reflects it back to them. The stronger the enemy attack, the stronger the damage reflect, as the damage absorption multiplier is affected by the enemy level and your modded strength. Here's a tip with the mallet. For the love of God, please do not stand in the line of fire because enemies are going to be shooting at the mallet. This ability synergizes with her fourth. Amp doubles the effective range of mallet, spreading the reach of the damage. Amp also increases the base damage of your weapons and is additive to any of those multipliers present on your weapons. This base damage increases depending on the sound levels of the environment. The louder and more chaotic it is, the higher the multiplier gets, till it caps out to the maximum buff depending on your strength. Now, her third ability. This is going to be our main source of survivability. Performing specific actions will grant you a buff, and the action I'll be doing is teabagging, meaning spamming the crouch action to the beat. This action grants me invisibility. Matching the crouch to the beat grants you the buff. My mandacord is decently fast, meaning I can spam my crouch and easily become invisible. Since Octavia has all these decent combos and buffs, what more does she need? Well, more damage. Some might think of adding armor strip, but the two AoE armor strips are actually bad for this build. Terrify will scare off enemies, having them not attack the mallet, and pillage requires too much strength not leaving enough room for other useful mods on the build. Now some might think Roar, which is a solid choice, but what if I can give her something better? A damage buff and utility at the same time. Rest and Rage, Equinox's second ability. Depending on your energy color, you'll either have the day form or the night form of this buff. Warmer colors will give you the day form, and enemies affected by this ability in day form has them vulnerable to all incoming damage. At the same time, their animations are sped up, making them move and attack faster. The enemies moving faster gets them to the mallet faster, and them attacking faster has the damage built up faster, and them being vulnerable to incoming damage has the enemies kill each other faster. Controlled chaos. I'll be pairing this ability with its augment, Common Frenzy. When enemies affected by the ability die, they spread the effect to nearby enemies, reducing the amount you have to cast. Okay, so what is the gameplay loop of this build? 1. Find a nice room that has decent open space, enough line of sight for the enemies to see the mallet, and with decent spawn points. 2. Place your mallet in the middle of all of that, and of course your amp alongside it. And now you just watch the world burn. And 3. Just cast rage on enemies, collect loot till your mallet runs out, and rinse and repeat. Also, just make sure your third ability is up, teabag once in a while, just to maintain your invisibility. 
All right, moving to the other parts of the arsenal. For the added utility and buff, I will have five red Archon shards, giving me 50% duration. This helps me upkeep my abilities even longer. And for the Arcanes, I'll be using Arcane Energize for the boost in energy upon energy orb pickup. I don't have any efficiency modded, nor do I have any other source of energy income. So this Arcane is going to be very mandatory for this loadout. And finally, Molt Augmented for the 60% strength at 250 kills. Simple yet very effective. For the focus school, I'll be using Uniru just for the armor strip. This armor strip isn't a wide AoE, and it's only going to be used on priority targets like the Acolytes and Eximus units, just so the Malad can burst through their overguard and deal with them fairly quickly. All right, now that you have an idea of how this build functions, let's take a look at how I've modded Octavia. In the aura, I have corrosive projection for the minus 18% of armor. This is a nice damage increase to my mallet. Prime sure-footed for the knockdown and stagger resistance because spending less time in your butt is a huge DPS increase. Duration at 205% with prime continuity and the five Archon shards. Range at 175% with stretch and auger reach. This increases my mallet's range by 17 meters. And if you pair that up with amp, gives us a massive radius. But the range is also very important for rest and rage, spreading my damage vulnerability to the enemies. Strength at 168% with Umbral Intensify and Augur Secrets. Augur Secrets is going to be there for the strength and the energy to shield conversion and granting me overshields. Pair this 168 with Molt Augmented brings my strength to 228%. Prime Flow for the large energy pool, just so it can give me a decent amount of energy to cast all of my abilities. And finally, Rolling Guard for the damage and vulnerability after a dodge roll, while also cleansing me of status effects. Here are a few things to look out for in this build. If you're taking this into a corrupted mission, you're definitely going to encounter Ancient Healers. Ancient Healers emit an aura that protects their allies, giving them a sort of damage reduction. And this Ancient Healer aura isn't just damage reduction, it, it also prevents them from being crowd controlled. And Mallet is a hard aggro ability. It's pretty much crowd controlling them, forcing them to go in a certain direction and do certain things. And there are two ways to get rid of this. Kill the Ancient Healer or proc rate radiation. So you're going to need a utility weapon to prime the ancient healer or enemies around it. So a new core is very useful since it has innate radiation and it's a beam weapon that changed enemies. Or just mod any utility weapon with viral and radiation. But key note here, avoid using epitaph because it force procs cold on its quick fire mode and cold procs slow down enemy movement and actions to so avoid anything that procs cold or just the epitaph in general. So utility weapons like the new core or the zakti are pretty good here. Anyway folks, this is a simple Killer Octavia build. Hope you guys enjoy it, try it out, and see what you think of it. <laughs> I was actually using this build long ago for farming. Anyway, that has been it from me. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content streams and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace. Uh, bye bye now.